Okay, uh, let's do an example. Verify that the function y equal to root x squared plus c for any constant c is a solution for the differential equation y prime times y equal to x. And then when you have that, um, use this fact um, to show that to find a particular solution for the differential equation with the initial condition y at 2 is equal to 3. So to check something is a solution for the differential equation y prime y equal to x, we have to check if that function satisfies this equation, meaning that the function itself is y equal to x squared plus c, and then we can find its derivative. Well, something that might be helpful here is that you can see this is x squared plus c to the power half, and then you can use power plus a chain root will give you half x squared plus c prime, and then x squared plus c one less. That gives us half of c is constant so the derivative, is, would, the derivative would be zero and then x squared will give us 2x and here's x squared plus c to the power negative half well let me just uh, write it a little bit different form so these two cancel first of all and then I can take this to the denominator. I write it x squared plus c uh, to the power half. In the numerator, we will have only x. Again, let me just summarize what we have. y is square root of x squared plus c. y prime is x over x squared plus c to the power half is the same thing as x squared plus c. Now, how we are going to check that this equation satisfies the this function satisfies this equation? Well, what does this equation say? It says that if you multiply y prime to y, the result needs to be equal to x. So let's just multiply y prime to y. And you see that this cancels with that and then the result is actually y times y prime is equal to x this is the same thing so that means that for every c y equals to x squared plus c satisfies uh, the equation the differential equation y times y prime equals to x and that means that's a solution for every, for any constant C, this happens. Okay, that's the first part. We verified that that's, that's the solution. Now we want to find particular solution, solution for the differential equation with the, the um, initial condition given here which is y at 2 is equal to this means what this means that the equation we have a function you have if you plug in everywhere you see x you plug 2 for that and everywhere you see y you plug in 3 then the equality should hold so y at 2 which is 2 squared plus c needs to be equal to 3 and this means what this means that we have 4 plus c equals to 3 
and that means that 4 plus c equals to 9 sorry that was the square root of 4 plus c equal to 3 now score both sides you get that and then find c which is 9 minus 4 it is pi what we found by imposing the initial condition on the general solution we found that y equals to x squared plus c is 5 c needs to be 5 to this function to be able to satisfy this initial condition so this is is the particular solution